Miriam Joy and welcome to my studio. Today we're going to be doing the 4th of July stars or these are kind of Americana looking folk artsy. You can do them in different ways but I'm going to show you how to do them kind of rustic looking. Um, these stars I purchased were wooden stars and I just picked these up from Michaels. They were not expensive at all, so stars are really popular, so just go out there and look for some wooden stars that are in your budget. I don't think I paid a buck or two for these. The first thing I did is I chose my acrylic paints and I did a red, white, and blue, and just closest to the colors that you want to go with. And so I base coated my um, star with a couple coats of acrylic paint. And then what I did next is I took my sanding disc and I sanded right on all of the edges. So anywhere where there was an edge, I went in and sanded that paint off. And then I also went in and I kind of put spots here and there, kind of roughed it up as well. You don't want them all in the same area. You're just taking off the paint. You just want them here and there all over your star. And this gives them that antique rustic looking so they don't look brand new. So once I've done that, and I actually have a little bit of this already on you, is a method that I use to make things look old. And I'm going to take a little bit of black paint. I'm going to do a wash of black paint. And by wash, I mean adding water to it. Now because this is white, we're barely going to use any paint at all. It's just going to really absorb it. If you were doing the uh, blue or the red star, you could use a little bit more of this. But see how watered down that is? And then I just put it right on there. And then I take my rag and wipe it off so that it is not real dark. And then all those areas that you sanded picks up that black and gives it that kind of rustic look. And I would also put it down in these areas here and remove that. Now the white, like I said, really absorbs the black. So on the others, you could use a little bit more of that. So after we do that, we're simply just going to apply our wax on it. And I stuck with just the black because I think the black looks more the folk art look, but you could rotate any of the red, white, or blues on each star and do however you wanted to do them. You also could paint them, put some glitter paint on them to give them more of a 4th of July look. Now I like these because a lot of people have their house decorated with this decor, especially nowadays, and you could use these all year round or give these as a gift to your friend. So think outside the box as far as that. So the first thing I did is I took my black crayon and I put it into my melting pot and warmed it up and also warmed up my tool. And if you haven't learned the basics, there's a good basic video on how to do the basics of wax. So check that out on YouTube. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to give this a little bit of a swirl when I lay it down instead of pulling each one out. Now, if you need to take your pencil and make your lines where you're going to go, that's fine. I'm just kind of been doing it so long, I guess I can just kind of eyeball it. And I have six of those, at least on this star, then I'm going to come in with a descending dot. And I'm also going to come back up to the top and do a descending dot in between each one of these. And we're just going to come down here. And you could do each star a different design and that would look really good. So um, don't think you can just do them one design. You could just could do straight lines or just whatever you wanted to do. You could put some hearts on them, make these kind of a heart thing. Just whatever your little heart desired. But I think it'd be kind of cool to have each star having its own um, custom design. So 
And we just did the same thing. I just did it the opposite direction. And see how that black with this white and the rustic kind of look that we gave it, it really sets it off. So I really like that. We're just going to do one dot here so it doesn't fit. So you've got this neat and wonderful design and just do it on all four of your um, little points of your star and then uh, varnish it after you're done. If you wanted to keep it more of a flat antiquish look, use your, your flat paint or your satin for just a tad of shine. Remember watch your um, humidity when you're using those. But it's just a fun project to do. And like I said, don't think of it just for 4th of July. You could change them to different colors that match, you know, somebody's house like greens or browns or different things like that as well. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions regarding this project, please visit me or email me, excuse me, at art at merriamjoy.com for any of the uh, products. You can visit my product page or my website at merriamjoy.com. There's a Facebook link there. It will take you more fun videos and also, excuse me, the YouTube <laughs> link there. Boy, these are getting fun sometimes. The YouTube link, <laughs> this starts to be a can canon camera you know wait till you guys see all my bloopers the YouTube link where we do lots of fun videos also the Facebook link where I try to post something new and fun that we're doing on there every day so thank you for joining me today God bless